the first question is, is when it comes to how many billions, it is so easy to fall into this trap where we think more is better. So if a little is good, then more must be better. Almost as Americans were trained that way. But what's really interesting, it really doesn't matter at all about how many you start with. It matters more about how many of them actually survive because again, they are living bacteria. And these living bacteria, if they're alive, can perform many of the tasks and help to support your body properly. What's most crucial is that you look at some of the areas in the body that would have to be you know, overcome. Things like stomach acid and making sure that you focus on things that are truly natural. You know, possibly like seaweed extract and things of that nature instead of some of the chemical components that are, can, can be commonly used. You also have to look at bile. That's another challenge that these living bacteria have to overcome. Things about making sure that in transit these bacteria are properly nourished, properly hydrated. You know, a lot of people don't think of them as truly alive when they're taking them as a supplement, but really they are as alive as you and I are. We can't live without them, they can't live without you. And so as a result, we need to make sure that not only do we give them safe passage, but that we hydrate, we nourish them, and, and make sure that they survive. So really, again, it's not about how many billions you take, it's about how many billions of these bacteria will actually survive.